22 days until the midterms, and one of the neck and neck races in all the places is Kansas. Known as a longtime Republican stronghold, incumbent Senator Pat Roberts now in a fierce battle with the independent candidate Greg Orman. They both square off in a bait in two days, Wednesday of this week. With me now, Republican Kansas Senator Pat Roberts. We will also invited Mr. Orman onto our program, but his campaign has declined our interview. Sir, thank you for your time, Senator, and welcome back here to America's well, thank you, Bill. Newsroom. About a week ago, our poll it. had you head-to-head -head up five points. You put all the polling together, real clear politics average, and you're down 2.2 with all the polls together. I don't know where you see the race today, but Kansas has not elected someone who was not a Republican since 1932. Why is this race so close, Senator? Well, we're not going to do it again, either. Uh, basically, we're going to win this race, Bill, and I think the reason is that uh, uh, Kansans are finally waking up to the fact that my opponent is not an independent. He is a very liberal Democrat. He ran against me in 2008. He's given thousands of dollars to the leadership back there in Washington and to the Kansas uh, Democrat Party. So by donation and by deed and where he stands on the issues, he is a liberal Democrat. Kansans will not send a liberal Democrat. Uh, uh, to the Senate. But this isn't really about Pat Roberts. Uh, this is about the fact that the road to a Republican majority runs right through Kansas. And we've had everybody in the party here, everybody from Sarah Palin to uh, Jeff Bush, here because they know me and they know my record, but they also know that a vote for Pat Roberts is a vote to regain the uh, uh, Republican majority. Okay, let's get back to Greg Gorman in a moment here. The knock on you during this campaign is that you have forgotten about the folks back in Kansas. And, and, and they compare this Not race true. to what happened to Eric Hanner in Virginia a few months back. What, what, what would you say to them uh, about a longtime senator happen. from Kansas who, who went to Washington and had his back? <laughs> Bill, uh, that's not going to happen. I've been corner to corner, border to border in all 105 counties. I do it every year. I've been in, with the farmers in southwest Kansas in the dusty fields. I've been with the farmers up here in the northeastern part uh, when the uh, river is flooded. I'm a fourth generation Kansan. My home is in Dodge City and I'm darn proud of it. Uh, this has been a myth. I'm always in Kansas. I work hard when I'm in Kansas. I work hard for Kansas and Washington. I haven't forgotten anybody. Mm. Uh, your opponent has not said with whom he would caucus, Republican or Democrat. Um, he, he's announced several events on social media uh, after they've taken place. And, and I know you've been quite critical of that strategy. And again, we invited Mr. Orman to come on here, and he declined our invitation. Apparently, he's not doing any national media. But you've had a hard time convincing conservatives like the Tea Party factions of Kansas to get behind you. Do you expect a Tea Party endorsement today, Senator? Yes, I do. The Tea Party Express uh, has endorsed me. We just had Ted Cruz in, who has endorsed me. Uh, Laura Ingram has endorsed me. Uh, all, all factions of the party uh, have endorsed me. And uh, we've got Rand Paul coming in. He's going to endorse me. Uh, we're talking to the Tea Party folks. We are reaching out to them. <clears throat> and we had many just, uh, just the other day uh, that we have talked with who are endorsing me. They know that a vote for Pat Roberts is to regain a Republican majority. They also know that my opponent is not an independent uh, by vote, by deed, by uh, donation and where he stands on the issues. And they know that uh, he will be a rubber stamp. The president himself said just a week ago, Bill, that this election is a referendum on his programs, his policy, his legacy. Kansans do not want a rubber stamp for that. Yeah, one more point they, on this uh, thing. My opponent, yeah. Uh, you, you, were okay, mentioning, ahead, you were mentioning endorsements there. The Kansas City Star endorsed Greg Orman uh, in the last couple of days. It also endorsed Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012. This is what they said, though. They said Orman's a businessman who's thoughtful and needed to break the destructive gridlock in Washington. How would you counter that? Well, I think I'd, uh, I stand the best chance of ending the gridlock. If we achieve a Republican majority, we will end the gridlock. It's Harry Reid who, is, start, who is, uh, is responsible for this gridlock. We're going to put him out to pasture. We're going to have Republican leadership. We will start in with less spending, less regulation. We'll do tax reform. We'll open up the pipeline, if we possibly can, with the president. All the things that Kansans think that represent common sense, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we will make the Senate the Senate again. It's been Harry Reid who's, uh, who's been doing the blocking.
Sure, thank you for your time today, Pat Roberts. Appreciate it. If Greg Orman changes his mind, the invitation is wide open for the next three weeks. Senator, thank you again out of Kansas today. Appreciate I appreciate it.